37 years ago, when I was 19 years old and I was in college, I got pregnant. And I went to an abortion clinic in Montgomery, Alabama. Um, I was ashamed. I was scared. To be honest, I was ignorant. I didn't know anything about babies or fetal development. When I got there, they told me that they were going to remove tissue and they told me that I was going to be okay. I was going to be able to go back and live my life and it wasn't going to have an effect on me. And um, I learned years later that that wasn't the truth. I started to struggle with uh, major depression, uh, anger, rage, lots of marital problems. And, um, and I also learned that that day it wasn't a blob of tissue that they removed, that it was you know, a heartbeat at 18 days, and that the the, uh, the gender of the baby had already been determined, and so it was just devastating for me. Um, I actually came to Women's Hope when we were Save a Life. They told me if I confessed my sin to God, that that He would forgive me and He would cleanse me from this unrighteous thing that I had done, and He would. Um, purify me and, and that's what happened and then as I confessed my sin to um, them at Save a Life they were able to pray for me and God was able to come in and just heal my heart of this awful pain that I had. So I grew up had a love for Alabama and I knew I was supposed to live here and I always begged my parents can I please live in Alabama and they would never let me so when I turned 18 I moved here and I've lived here ever since. And I've always wondered, you know, what drew me here to Alabama and Auburn specifically? I became sexually active at a young age. I was 16. Um, and when that happened, I told my mom about it. I knew I could talk to her and trust her. And um, she broke down and cried because she had my oldest brother when she was 14 years old. I wasn't honoring God with my body. Although I was in church, involved in church, and doing all the things I was supposed to be doing, you know, the checklist of reading your Bible and praying and tithing. So I thought that I was loving God, and really the whole time I wasn't honoring Him or loving Him completely. He didn't have 100% of me. And a couple years ago, I came to realize that. So I was at the crossroads of what do I do? Where do I go? Um, and then someone at church, everyone at church and I was looking for a job and someone came up to me and said, I heard about this job at Women's Hope, let me send you the ad in the newspaper. And so she sent it to me and as I was reading it, I immediately knew that's where I'm supposed to be. Monday when I get to come to Women's Hope to be a client advocate, I ask the Lord when I'm on my way, like God, who are you gonna bring today that needs a touch from you? And I love the fact that I get to um, give to our clients something that I didn't get, which is the truth, the facts, um, options. I wasn't given any options, and we can we give them options. I don't think that we as a, a nation, and especially as uh, the church, understand the devastation that abortion has done. Not only have we lost 58 million lives to abortion, but um, it is just devastating to the women and men who are involved in this, to the families, those who take the women for abortions. Um, it just causes all kinds of problems and it has a, a big impact on our society. I made a decision that I was going to pursue purity and abstinence and it's been so, so wonderful. And also here I get to share that story with these young girls that come through because culture is lying to them and telling them that sex is normal and everyone has sex and if you don't have sex you're weird and that's just not how it should be and that's not what the Lord says and so I get to share my testimony with these young girls and tell them they don't have to make the same mistakes that I made and that they can choose a different path. One of the things that I love to um, get to do with the younger girls is to encourage them and speak truth and life over them and tell them that they are royalty, that they are princesses and they're daughters of the king. So if the things that I've been through in my past can help even one young girl that's coming through men, Women's Hope, then it was all worth it. There's been multiple times where women have come in thinking, I don't want this baby, I can't do this, I can't handle this. And then we show them the ultrasound in the picture and sometimes they're reluctant to look, but when they finally look over, 
and they see their baby's heart beating, it's like something in their mind changes and they realize this is a baby, this is life. And it just seems like when they see that baby, their, their mindset changes. The abortion clinic was darkness and death and lies. And women's hope is light and life and truth.